Sometimes I need a coffee break. I do this all the time, but I seriously need a coffee break in between takes. Like, just give me the java. Okay, to start off, I am going to be taking my Hourglass Mineral Primer, and this is in Veil. I'm just gonna take a little bit and put on my T-zone and a little on my chin area. kind of spread that to the rest of my face. I let that set up on my face for a few minutes um, just so that it dries and then I'm going to go in with my Born This Way foundation and I use the color Vanilla. I'm gonna put a few pumps on my top of my candle and I'm gonna begin patting that into my skin. And now taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I wear the color NW15. And I pump a little onto my little candle guy. And I'm going to begin placing this all the places I need to conceal. And I'm just gonna dab that in with my beauty sponge. Now using my Stay Matte Rimmel um, translucent powder, I just like this because it's cheap and it does the trick. I'm just going to take that with my sponge and I'm going to set my under eye area and I am going to set the center of my forehead and my nose and my chin. I'm going to begin contouring and I'm just using my NYX Highlight and Contour and it's completely busted up but it's still my favorite so I'm still going to use it. And I'm going to begin sculpting out my cheekbones. And it always looks so much harsher on the camera than it actually does in person. So don't be afraid, I'm not like making myself look like a total crazy person. It's not as visible in person. And I'm just taking this around my hairline and a little bit here on the temples. Then I'm going to take that same powder and I just like to use a flat top brush. I don't know why this guy has become my like favorite friend. But I am just going to sculpt out my nose. I'm going to do the sides here real quick make every, sure everything's super blended. And then do the bottom here. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to use my NYX High Definition Blush and this is in Nuditude. And I just like to warm up my face just a little bit and I just like to take this on the side here like from my contour up to my temple and just warm up my face a little bit. Just give it a little warmth. And I don't know why everything like almost feels like it appears so harsh on my camera. Because in person like I'm looking at this and I'm like, I can't even really tell. But then on my camera I'm like, whoa, whoa! Now I'm going to use my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Dip Pomade and I use the color Dark Brown. And I seriously hate this part about my makeup. If I was blessed with like beautiful brows, I would never ever do this. But I have like really crappy, crap, crap brows and I get so sick of them. So I just have them done really thin and then that way I can pencil them in myself because mine just looks so crappy and they're all curly and whirly and don't want to ever do what they're supposed to do. Sorry. I just thought I'd share my frustration with the world. So next I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. And I just put this, I started applying this with a brush because the coverage is much better than with my finger. And I just wasn't getting, 
I don't know, I just like it better this way. So I first apply it with a brush and then I'm just gonna go in and smooth it with my finger. To start off, I'm gonna be taking Molder, and this is a very neutral shade. It's just like a cream, yellow, banana color, whatever. And I'm just gonna use this to set the soft ochre paint pot because I like to set it first with a nice matte neutral shade and that way our blending game can be strong. And for our crease color, I'm gonna take Analog and with that same fluffy brush, I'm just gonna begin sweeping this in my crease and blending the ever-living crap out of it from the inner corner to the outer corner. And now I'm gonna take this rich burgundy color here in Rewind. I really like the depth of this color. Um, I like the, it's like a, a really awesome cranberry. I can feel it already, the fallout, let it begin. And that's okay, I'm just gonna sweep it away. Um, I'm going to take this color and I am going to concentrate it on my outer corner, kind of leaving the inner corner untouched uh, for that classic halo effect. And I'm going to blend it above my crease over to the inner corner where we're gonna fill in like a fourth here. Again, try to leave this little center pop untouched. And for a highlight, I'm gonna take Skulls and I'm gonna pop this here on my brow bone and blend her in a little. And I'm gonna go back into analog, dip into that and go right on over everything. Just a little bit of the pigment is gonna go a long way, but I just wanna blend it and kinda bring that orange back to the forefront and make it relevant again. And now I'm gonna take Harpsichord, which is this rockin' like bronzed amazing color. I don't even know. This is definitely my favorite color of the palette. And I'm just popping that right in the center of my lid, right where we left a little gappy gappy of space. And to make that really pop, I'm gonna take Skull and pop it right over the top of that. I'm gonna step away from the eyeshadow for a second and I'm gonna grab my Kat Von D um, liner in Trooper and I'm gonna begin lining my lies and lining my lies lining my eyes and I'm gonna make a pretty dramatic flick here Now you don't have to go as dramatic as me on your wing or your flick, but I have a flair for the dramatic, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna be taking my Voluminosis or Voluminoso, whatever, my Miss Magna Rock Mascara, and I'm just gonna quickly apply a coat of this, and then I'm going to throw on some false lashes, and we're gonna see where that lands us. See, this is why it takes me so long to do my makeup. When people ask me, like, why does it take you so long to do your makeup? I'm like, because I did an eyelash and now I gotta take some coffee breaks, okay? And because I'm gonna be spending the next few minutes putting on my eyelashes, I'm gonna go ahead and plump my lips with my lip default tool. Now I'm gonna reach back into Analog, which is our orange color and I'm gonna dust this on my lower lash line I'm just pressing this into my lashes and then I'm going to take harpsichord and dab it here right in the middle and take skull just like we did on top I'm gonna pop that right in the center then I'm gonna take a nude liner and I'm just using my Rimmel exaggerate I think it's and nude, I think it just says nude. And I'm going to line my lower lash line and my water line 
Then I'm gonna apply some mascara to the bottom lashes. Now I wanna keep my cheeks nice and fresh and light, so I wanna use my Dandelion from Benefit, and I'm just going to lightly dust this onto my cheeks. And then from ColourPop Cosmetics, I'm gonna take Hippo as my highlighter, and I'm going to lightly dust this onto my cheekbones. center of my forehead, down to my nose, on my chin, a little on my cupid ball, and just a pop on the very tip of my nose. And for lip color, I absolutely adore my 714 by Jeffree Star. This is this beautiful corally color, which you would think is just for summer, but I love it for fall as well. And I'm just gonna paint this on my lippy toes. This is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really like this look for fall because I'm not really into the whole um, classic fall makeup look. So this is something that is um, still pretty everyday wear e e, and it's not super conservative either. So I really enjoyed filming this and I hope that you guys liked it and thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys very 